Hey everybody, it's Vicki, and today I'm going to talk about menstrual cups. Now, if you're a guy and you don't want to hear all then click off. If not, then keep on watching. So, first thing, what is a menstrual cup? A lot of girls don't know, as of I didn't know about six months, well, about eight months ago, I had no idea either. And I was online and I did some investigating, I guess, and I found all of these videos on menstrual cups and I became really really intrigued and with the rise in shock sick shock syndrome and um, other things going on with you know chemicals and tampons and stuff I just decided about um, well about a year before that that I was just gonna stop altogether so I had only been using pads and then I decided enough is enough and I'm done with both of them and I'm gonna give this menstrual cup a try. And I'm really, 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 really squeamish when it comes to blood, so can we all keep that in mind as this video goes on, okay? <laughs> so anyway, a menstrual cup is this cup. It gets inserted into your vagina. Some people fold it down like this and, and stick it up, or some people do the C-fold and then up there, and then once you put it up, it expands and it has a tight seal so that no blood is to come out now this is good for 12 hours being once you insert it it's good up to 12 hours now depending on what your flow is if your flow is super super heavy then you might want to try to change it more often um, it's really going to be a trial and error the first couple months trial and error being you know, it, did you get it up there right? Is the seal good? You know, like, how does it feel? How often do you need to change it? How often do you want to change it? It's going to be preference for most of it. It's going to be how, how you deal with it. Um, now, every one of them is different. There's a whole bunch of different models, I guess, um, brands and stuff like that of the menstrual cups. And you're probably, well, this is my first one that I ever bought. And like I said, I've been using it straight for about six months and I have not used any other alternative um, tampons, pads, or anything like that. So this is the only thing I've been using for the last six months. And yes, it is clean. I boil it in hot water, so don't think I'm just being gross. Um, but anyway, last six months I've only been using this. Now, it probably is gonna get taking some use to, and if you're not fully comfortable with blood don't think that this is going to be like super duper gross so when you take it out you like pull on the little thing and maybe even get a little grip onto this part because it's thicker and you don't feel like you're just pulling that off and then you like wiggle it down until it like makes a suction noise and it comes out now there'll be blood in there and I found the easiest way when I first started out because I thought I was going to be so grossed out by the blood because I am so not okay with blood. Um, I would be sitting on the toilet and I'd pull it out and then I'd just dump it in the toilet without even looking. And I'd make like a little like, um, take like four pieces of toilet paper or five pieces of toilet paper and like, you know, layer them and then I'd put it on like the counter that was next to me and put it on there and then I'd go rinse it out in the sink and I would barely ever look. Now, it's just like taking out a tampon, doesn't really matter. It's whatever at this point. So, it gets, you You get used to it. You get used to it and don't let just the, the whole aspect of like, oh my God, there's, there's blood in it to like scare you away. It's not that bad, to be honest. Now, the benefits of having a menstrual cup. One is your saving your body from putting the chemicals from the tampons and you're also the other aspect of your body would be um, if you don't use tampons and you use pads well once the air gets to the blood it causes it to smell sorry TMI we all know it happens this does not no air can get to the blood so there is no odor at all whatsoever now so now you don't have tampons or pads whatever Another benefit of having this is you don't have to buy the tampons and pads. This is, I think I paid like $45 shipped on Amazon for this, and this is the Lily Cup Compact. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> um, but 
I paid probably like 45 to $50. Now everybody's probably freaking out going, oh my goodness, that is so expensive. But can we all think of how much a box of tampons cost? Now that box of tampons may last, what, one cycle, one and a half cycles, maybe, depending on how your flow is. Now then you also have to buy a thing of pads. If you use them, if you don't, then I guess you don't. But still, the cost of this over 10 years, one for 10 years, is going to be significantly less than what you're going to spend over the years. I cannot tell you how excited I am that every time I get my period, I automatically know that I am fully stocked. I'm like, oh, yep, I have my supplies and I don't need to worry about it. Now, um, the other thing that is good about it is that it's saving the environment. So this one over 10 years going into the landfill is not as much as how many of our tampons and pads you're going to use over the, t the span of your life, you know, your menstrual cycle life. Now you're putting all those in the, the landfill, like that's awful. So it's saving the landfill. Now, another great thing about this is that say you're, this one specifically, I guess I'll say, because it's a little cup compact, it folds up really nicely like that. And it has a little carrying case and it just goes right in there. Now, the best part about that is the fact that you literally can be like, oh, I gotta go to Mexico for spring break. Oh, but I'm gonna get my period on my way, you know, while I'm down there. You literally only have to put this one thing in your bag. Tiny, tiny, takes up less, I mean, like, look at, seriously, how much space that that would take up. It's, it's, it fits inside my palm. So this one little thing can just be thrown in your bag and you can forget about it. And you don't have to have a bunch of tampons and pads. That's amazing. Now, when I first got this, I think it was the first month or two months, maybe the second month that I started using it. It was awesome. We went to a haunted house and we were out really, really late and I had changed it like earlier in the day. And then we had a really long drive to where we were staying and I brought a tiny little purse and that was it. And I just had this in me and I got to where we were going to stay at and I dumped it out and I washed it out and I put it back in and I went to bed. That was it. Like I didn't have to worry about, oh, where does my tampon go? You know, like in the trash, is somebody going to be mad that I put it? Nothing like that. Seriously, I really am not coming on here to, you know, promote this because again, I'm not sponsored by the Lily Cup Compact. I'm not sponsored by any menstrual cup company at all. I'm literally coming on here because I want more girls to know about this. I want more people to know and maybe more people know than I think. And maybe they just don't say anything because it's kind of like a taboo thing, but I'm really not that person to be shy about this. And I really don't care. Like I, if I could run around and like tell everybody about it and not be frowned upon, then I would. It's just something that I think is going to benefit everybody in life in general. And I think that every girl should at least try it and really give it a shot because it is the bu the best thing that you could ever do for yourself and for the environment. And honestly, I don't have anything bad to say. Now, there's a girl on YouTube called Precious Star Pads, and I'll see if I can link her down below, but she has reviews on a whole bunch of different menstrual cups. And she, yes, her review may be different than what you think about it or whatnot, but she has a whole bunch of them and she also does reviews on cloth pads um, which is another cool thing I've never tried but I'm willing to um, so she has a whole bunch of reviews on those things and maybe it will help you if you are looking into it she goes in depth a little bit more of how to remove the menstrual cup she goes through a little bit more of um, the different ones that there are, different shapes, different materials, and all sorts of stuff like that. And she'll even go in more depth about the Lily Cup Compact. Um, 
I'm not an expert. I literally just put it in and it does its job. So I can't really, I don't have anything else to compare it to. She does. So if you use menstrual cups, please give me a big thumbs up because I want to know how many people actually do. And that's all I have for you guys today. And I hope you have a groovy day.